switch, and I'm recording on my Mac, and I can run JADX GUI on my Mac. For some reason, it's working better here. Um, the version failed on the PC, and this is unfortunately very common. Um, uh, right? Maybe I have to run it from the command line. Let's try this. Um, I forget how I did. I've used it plenty. Um, what I do is here, I go to downloads. All right, and now I do a ls of jadx star and hmm all right um, I thought I've installed it maybe I can run it here all right how about um, hmm all right I've, I've used it before on this machine now I'm having trouble figuring out how I did it jadx Uh, it's a, there it is. Developer documents other. All right, uh, I'm very confused. I should be able to find that jar file. I'll try downloading it. Let me go to that project and see if I can figure out how to do it. Uh, it was working on this machine before. I don't know what happened, but there's always something. Uh, M511 is where we are. All right, and so JADX is in this project. All right, download it from here. It downloads as a zip file. Yep, so I should have it. And then on a Mac, right-click the JADX GUI and click open. I think I've already got it. That's why I don't know what's going on here. Um, here's downloads. Um, JADX. All right, I thought I had it. Um, JAD. Okay, there it is, JADX. And here it is down here. I don't know why I had so much trouble. I unzipped it, and now there's a binary folder. Here's JADX GUI. Double click that, and there it goes. All right, there we are. It's working. This is what it should look like. Now, I open the sieve.apx, so S I E V dot APK, just the raw APK file. You open it. This is why this is your, going to be your favorite tool, as a student was commenting in the chat. Now, right here in a graphical interface, you've got access to all the components. So here's the Android code that's used, which is stuff written by Google, and you normally don't want to bother looking there. What you want to look at is the stuff written by the developer here, which is more likely to have the mistakes. So here's, for example, um, something called crypto service. And so if you go to here, here's the message handler, and here's various variables like key. There's something called key, and uh, so on. This shows you readable Java code of what you did. And here, I think what we do is search for content. So I search for content, colon, slash, slash, and there it is. Immediately finds the three cases where this content is there, and these are the URIs that let you give you access to uh, the content provider. So that's one of the many things you can do here. Now, um, all right, and we're going to use this for other things. If we're going to the Indian app, I think is the one has a bunch of hard coded uh, keys inside the app, and we can find them this way. So that's what I wanted to show you to finish the uh, M five eleven demo. Let me stop this recording.